Welcome back to another Marnie and Michael Monday. This one was completely inspired, if not outright stolen, from a blog that I read. The author, her name is Laura. The blog name is By Now Blog Later. I originally found her because she used to be known as Lollipop26 here on YouTube, and she was one of the very first people that I subscribed to on YouTube and never, ever missed a video, and now I never, ever miss a blog post. So I will link her below. What she did was she handed him makeup items and then he had to describe to her what their purpose is. And I don't even know if she told it what told him what they were called. So yeah. I'm gonna recreate that in a video and let's make this a tag. Uh, you will find the name for the tag over my head. I haven't mm. named it yet. So I have a collection of everything I put on my face pretty much on a daily basis and I'm just gonna hand it over to Mr. Michael here and see what he thinks. All right, so she she uh, Hold it up. handed me here something. There it is. That's what it looks like right there. Marnie maybe can display it as the hand model. All right, it's Lingerie de Peau Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation. Foundation, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally, it's something that you put on at the beginning of your makeup routine. What does it First do? First thing you do. Why? Um, you just put makeup over it, color over it. What purpose does it serve? I think it just adds a, like a, creates more of like a blank canvas for you to put your makeup on, your mm -hmm. different colors on top. Mm -hmm. I guess it evens your skin tone all together, does it? Makes <laughs> yes. It, makes it like the same Okay. throughout. Uh, Don't looks drop like it. Looks like an enlarged version of a golf ball marker. A little bit. <laughs> Two-faced. Uh, it's just, okay, on the back it tells you what it is. It's a bronzer. So obviously this is when you want to do fake tanning, you use the bronzer. I don't know how to open it actually. Is there a. That's a good question. Child how do you open and it? Yeah, man. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, hold okay. it up. I'll hold like it this. up. Yep. Like that. You don't okay. want to blind them with the mirror. That's obviously something you do at the end. You, do, you put bronzer on. Um, right? Not at the end, but not it's okay. End. It's over. Yes. Um, okay. And what is the purpose? Did you think it was? I think it's like sunless tanning, basically. To make your. Uh, yeah. Give yourself a uh, suntan look, but you're not, you know. Out in the sun. Yep, that's actually not not bad. It says bronzer, obviously. This, uh, how does it open? It's also kind of like a little enlarged version of a golf marker, golf ball marker. You want, let me help you. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you uh, go. Boy, Don't are, read the label. These are really hard. Okay, I'm not going to read the label. Hold it up. It, uh, this is very similar to the bronzer that I looked at. So. I guess it's just stuff. I mean, it's not something you put on you your eyes because it? it's so big, but it would maybe just be on your cheeks and your the the you body the body of your Take face. Take a little swatchy swatch. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, that's the first time you've ever touched makeup. No, you got to swatch it so you can see. No, it. I'm not gonna swatch it. Okay, if okay. I swatch it, no, but you don't even know what it is. You haven't told me what it is. I th I said I think it's just a color that goes on, you know, All right, the I'm larger tell you parts what it of is. your face, not like your finer eye points. Okay, it's called a highlighter. Okay. What would oh, okay. one do with a highlighter? Where do I put highlighter? Highlighter, you put on like your cheeks and stuff. Where particularly? I don't really know where particularly. I know it doesn't go on your eyes, so it goes somewhere like on your cheeks, like on your cheekbones. Yes! Okay. Yay! All right, you're getting there. I got it. Uh, this is similar to the exact other thing that we just looked at, but it's a lot smaller. Hmm. So if it's smaller, does that mean it goes on the eyes? No. It's a color. What would you do with this? We How actually would you... just filmed a video on it. Uh, I don't remember. You weren't paying attention. Yeah. You weren't really watching. Is it? Does it go on your cheeks also? It does. Okay. Do you know what this is called? I don't know. It in mascara. No, that's for eyes. Okay. It's def definitely blush. Definitely right? blush. And okay. where do you put this? On your cheeks. Yes. But I, I'm. I got confused because the highlighter. I, I didn't. I'm, I'm not familiar with what a highlighter is, and I didn't know you put more than one thing on your cheeks. Oh, so many things. Okay. All right, this is CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Mm. Uh -huh. Gosh. It's not foundation, obviously. No. Wow. Okay. Does that go on your cheeks also? It can, you can, yes. Or all over your all face? All over even? your face. So how is that any different than a foundation? Because it's a powder. Okay. And it sets, it's li foundation's liquid. Okay. So if you want to put powder products on top of a foundation. If you put okay. powder on top of liquid, it can get streaky okay. and not blend. Okay. So it gives it, it... So this goes on top of the foundation. Right. Uh, concealer, okay. It says stay, stay in place, flawless concealer. Yes, where does one, when, where and why do you put this on? Well, I know that's like if you have a cut or a blemish, uh, you can do it, you know, like when you 
we just want to cover up something that's blemishy. <laughs> and anywhere else? Um, would you put concealer anywhere else other than on blemishes? Um, no, I mean, I wouldn't know. Does, do y'all use it for something else? Under my eyes. Under your eyes? Why would I okay. put it under my eyes? Um, I'm not really sure. Do you have dark circles? Circles, yes. You're not getting enough sleep. You're not getting enough beta carotene. You need more sunlight. <laughs> I don't know. People All right, in now Alaska, tell me the order. It's a good market up in Alaska. Get some under eye there concealer. There you go. I'm sure Alaska is okay. a large market for under eye concealer. So I've given a little bit away, but wow. you tell me the order of the products in which you think mm -hmm. one would apply them. I'll tell you one thing. Um, not sure about the mm -hmm. concealer. Don't forget about it. I guess maybe you do the concealer. Or you do the foundation first, then concealer. Yep. And then you do the powder on top of the foundation. Yep. So it's foundation, concealer, powder. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, we got a highlighter too, and a blush. And a bronzer. Oh, and a bronzer's last. Nope. No, not last. Mm mm. When would the bronzer go on? Next. Before the colors. Uh huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And then My I gosh. like to do. Highlighter. This takes a long time, man. <laughs> Blend the blush. I didn't even bring you a contour powder. Where would a uh, contour dude, powder go? Contouring um, like angles on your skin, I guess, like on your jawline, maybe. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Contouring your angles would have to be. Or making angles or where they are not. Making angles yes. as you get older. You got to create angles, man. Yeah, it's just like guys, huh? You got to create some definition. Mm hmm. Yes. That's funny. Oh gosh. my gosh, you're cracking me up. I got I Mimi. Mimi wants to get in on no, this because she she's such a girl. Back. She wants to know. Now, what Mimi about, is the closest thing I've ever had talk to Talk to me about my eyeshadow. Um, I uh, didn't bring any. You didn't bring eyeshadows? No. What do, you color? Do, do you do eyeshadows last after everything's on? Pretty much. All okay. the face stuff, yeah. Okay. Then we move to eyes. I don't know. I mean, the eyes. What, what color are most eyeshadows, would you say? Uh, kind of like a grayish slate color. No. What am I wearing? Uh, you're wearing kind of a bronze looking, I would say, right now. Have you ever seen me wear gray eyeshadow? Uh, I think I feel like I have. Like Purple, one? maybe. You pay no I, I, I don't know. You really don't notice, I do you? I feel like I've seen you wear like darker eyeshadow. Uh, Sometimes your, your eyes are a little more smoky looking. Ooh, nice. So that's gray to me. Brown. They're mostly brown. Oh, uh, it's brown. Brown, okay. beige. Yep. Hmm. What's this? Uh, it's a wet and wild. Um, well, it says it's an eyeshadow primer. Obviously, that means this is like a foundation for your eyes, I guess. Yes. You put it on before you put your eyeshadow that on. That is so good. Hey, Get the there. label the label's pretty instructive. Right. you got to be kind of a, it's almost idiot proof, I would say. You'd this think. is a Makeup Forever Aqua Eye Pencil. Mm -hmm. Eye Pencil, and this is not eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Not sure what an eye pencil does exactly. It makes lines in your eye. I mean, you know how you can like make that line at the end, the yeah. corner? Is that what that does? <laughs> yes. When you want to make a corner? You go <laughs> like, look, can you see? It's like long on the bottom of my lashes. Do you always use it? Every day. Ah, I didn't know that. Okay, oh, I didn't yeah. know you put it over your lashes. Yes. Um, oh, this hmm. is going to be fun. Um, take a look here. Uh, brow is... Brow. Okay, eyebrow. This is for your eyebrows, right. not your eyes, but your what eyebrows. What do you do with it? Uh, I guess you... It's, this is taupe, right? So that's kind of a brownish color. Uh-huh. It's a crayon. It says a crayon for your... I don't know what you do other than you just probably just draw in your eyebrows. Yes. Can I draw yours in? No, do not touch no. that thing, man. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, That's okay. the last thing I need to look like that. Alright. Don't finish that. Uh, mascara. This goes for your eyelashes. I know that for sure. Nope. This is NYX. Mascara doesn't do eyelashes? Let what me are you give, talking You're reading about? it in French. Now read it in English. Tinted Brow Mascara. Mascara is not your eyelashes. What does it say? Oh, brow. I didn't know your eyebrows. And it, so you do your pencil mm -hmm. and you do a brow mascara. Mm -hmm. Is there also an eyelash mascara? We're getting there. Okay, I didn't know yet. So what would mascaras. you use this for? Do you do it after you do the pencil? I do. Uh, I'm actually not sure why you would use both a, a pencil and that. Isn't it just... Have you ever noticed that your eyebrows move? Like, that I, I ever, like, move... Because sometimes the hairs go down. Uh, well, I have, sometimes I get a little hairy on the eyebrows. Well, girls do As too. I get older, I get hairier. We like to Stray have hairs. our eyebrows stay in place. Yeah. It's like it's like hairspray for your eyebrows. And it okay. adds a little color too. Okay. All right, we're almost done I with eyes. It's like hairspray for your eyebrows. Cool. Uh, this is Clinique Chubby, this is eyelashes, Chubby Lash. Mm -hmm. I guess it, it makes your eyelashes more full somehow. What color is most mascaras? Black? Yes. So this is black, right? Mm -hmm. Jumbo Jet. Jet Black. Would you know how to put this on? 
Hmm. Um, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know exactly. Do you go underneath or on top of the eyelash? You go underneath, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is awesome. I'm having so much yeah. fun. I know what that gold thing is because we bought it. What's this? That curl is your eyelashes. Would you know how to put that on your own? No, and I wouldn't dear. I wouldn't I wouldn't even try. I, I hate anything touching like near my eyes. That's so unnerving oh to God. me. All right, let's totally it. disconcerting. You get used to it. Uh, I can't even come close to touching my eyes. Uh, this is Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just looking at it. Makeup setting spray, long lasting. I guess it's the last thing you do. It like sets all your makeup to last longer. Mm -hmm. Is that right? You just kind of spritz this thing. It's like a water spritzer. Don't spritz me with I'm it. I'm not. You yeah. have makeup okay. on. Okay. So you put your makeup on and then you just spritz it. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, what does it do? It's like a hairspray. Yeah. Does it have a sticky feel? No. 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 no okay. No. All right. So what are here, we looking at? You know at what? Here? I'm gonna open this yeah. for you. I think you just. I think you just draw the like the contour of your upper and lower lip is what you do basically. Why would a woman want to use that? Um. Why would you want to do that? It doesn't make, does it make your lips look bigger? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. By doing that, you draw outline? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So you could actually create an appearance of having larger lips. You can. Do you do that all the time? I rarely use a lip liner. Okay. And then this is a pretty basic lipstick, right? Mm -hmm. Just a straight up lipstick. Yeah. It's called Wow Pop by Clinique. It's Have your you, favorite. Well, not that particular color, but... And yes, what color are most of my pretty... lipsticks, would you say? What color category um, do they fall into? See how I, much you pay I know, I know you like dark reds, and I hate when you wear dark reds. I just, I don't know why. I just don't like hot looks all the time. I mean, you look fine but most of the time, but I like more of a natural lipstick. Uh -huh. So do you normally do what I like or no? Yes. What okay. do I normally wear? Though? If you normally like do what I like, then it's more of a natural Which would tone. be what color? Um, what would be the color? natural tone would be kind of like a uh i don't know pale ish let me help you red orange yellow green blue violet pink no pinkish pinkish skin tone i would say there we go okay all right not very good Pretty no bad. i think you did really most well. of my answers were informed by the description <laughs> on the uh if you just gave that to me unlabeled yes i would not probably be less than 50 percent right now, how long do you think it takes the average woman to put all that on? Like, if you're doing all this stuff... I do this every day. Yeah. Except yeah. for the lip liner. Yeah. I mean, I know it takes you about, call it, 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah, because I watch YouTube do. videos while I'm Okay. Doing, yeah. If you weren't watching and distracted by anything and you just wanted to do it really quickly, maybe 10 minutes you can do it. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. 10, 15. Yeah. Yep. So, awesome. you don't appreciate... Now, do you kind of appreciate what yeah. it takes to... Is all of this put on or some of it's not put on? I, I am mean, wearing every... Pretty much everything. A version of, if not this actual product. All at the same time. All of it. Wow. Except okay. for the powders. One yeah, of the yeah. two powders and one of the two foundation type yeah. things. And, and I don't know if everybody has seen, like, how you store all this I stuff. Have. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get so much makeup. It's unbelievable. We it's could a, fill up a room with it. We have filled up a room with it. Largely, yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. It's the hazard of the job. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll, now... Well, I'm you, glad you love it. It's awesome. Do you appreciate this a little more now? Yeah. I mean, you always look sharp and really put together looking and good. I just like when you wear the more natural tones, personally. But I usually that's just do. Like from one guy's perspective. Well, that's the only know, perspective that I. Care I know, but about. you always tell me a lot of times the women like to see more fancy looks, you know, and sharper looks. Depends who I'm dressing for, you, okay. my friends, or me. Okay. Right. Well. I got you. Let's well, try to work on Michael to do I, if my I had, husband if does I, my if makeup. If I had a daughter, I think I would have been much more in you tune think? with this kind of thing. I'm not enough. Yeah. Well, I, know I mean, I've taken you know, over our bit. entire house. You're quite a bit, but yeah. I hadn't had to do any instructing of children. I, would you really be teaching a girl how to put on her makeup? I don't know. I think, you know, my brother's like done some hair before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he has done a little bit of that. He has. Maybe just be maybe, more... Maybe you can come over and braid my hair for I, me. Be around more of the conversation. If you had a daughter, I'd probably pick up on it. You know. Maybe granddaughter. Yeah, maybe. Not anytime not soon. Anytime soon, but that'll be the next one. Not another human child. No. No, Mimi's it. She doesn't yeah, like getting it. her hair Next done at all. Next dog we get is probably going to be a boy as well. Just saying. I like the boy dogs. I do too. Yeah. I mean, I all right. We're getting it, way okay. off topic. We're moving on. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this. It was quite illuminating. And uh, glad, glad I could help. As always, thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you had as much fun watching as we did making it. Did you have fun? I did. All yeah, right. This was a good, 
break in the day. Give us some more ideas. Obviously, he's not going to do the my husband did my makeup tag, but maybe we can come up with some other fun things to torture him with. I said I'd do it at 200,000 subscribers. Okay. As always, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you later. So I thought I would walk you through some last minute ideas of what to get your mom, what to ask for if you're a mom, what, you know, if it's if you're not a mom, you deserve a present anyway. Maybe these are some things you would like. 